Hey everyone, my name is Olaf, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to rig wheels and animate cars in Blender. As always, it's going to be uh, quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so here we have a uh, car that I'm going to rig. This is a Lamborghini that I got using the transportation add-on. You can find it in the link in the description. And if you do not have this add-on, you can also go to my website, which has a free car that you can download. So I just uh, download this one, and uh, this is what it looks like. Now, when you rig a car, you need the wheels to be separated from the rest of the car. As you can see, I have already done that for this uh, car model, and I had to do it for the Lamborghini as well. So as you can see, we can move the uh, wheels. So uh, now I'm going to set up the rig. And before we set up the rig, you need to figure out on uh, which axis you need to rotate the wheel, which is uh, in this case on the X axis. So R then X. And um, then we need to add an empty, which will control the uh, car. So let's add a cube empty. You can add any type of empty. G then set, then S to uh, scale it down. And then we need to select the uh, car. So let's go into wireframe view and then press B to box select or uh, drag the left mouse button and then hold in shift and deselect the floor. And then hold in shift and uh, select the empty. And press control P to set the car parent to the empty. So that when we move the empty, we'll move the car as well. Next, we need to set up the drivers so that the rotation of the wheel on the x-axis is a function of the location of the empty on the y-axis. So uh, let's go into item and then right click on the uh, x rotation and then add driver. And then we will set the expression to uh, var. So let's set it to 10 times var to make it rotate really quick just to see what it looks like and then add the empty as the object and then set the type to uh, the Y location so that when we move the empty on the Y axis you can see that the wheel rotates really fast and we can edit the uh, driver by going into edit driver right clicking and then we can change the expression so let's uh, try 0.5 for example, and as you can see, that is going to be really slow. And um, we just have to experiment to find the uh, right expression. So I'm going to set it to uh, 2.5. There are formulas out there that will give you a uh, perfectly accurate rotation for the wheels by uh, measuring the radius of the wheel and so on. But I'm not going to cover that in this uh, beginner tutorial. So uh, let's just uh, add the same driver to the rest of the wheels as well. So the expression, at least for me, is 2.5 times uh, VAR. And then uh, set the object to empty and then the type to the Y location. As you can see, when we grab this empty cube on the Y axis, these two wheels uh, rotate. And then I'm going to speed up this part where I'm doing exactly the same for the uh, rest of the wheels. So empty, then Y location. And then again, 2.5 times VAR. And uh, empty and Y location. Okay, so uh, now we have the uh, drivers set up. So uh, now I'm going to um, animate the uh, car. So uh, let's just save before we continue. I'm just going to call this one uh, Tut. And uh, then also uh, make sure to uh, pack the data to the file. And then press numpad zero to uh, look through the uh, camera. And then press G, then Y to move the car on the y-axis. So uh, press I to uh, keyframe the uh, location. 
and then let's move a uh, few frames forward. I'm going to set the end frame to 500. And then uh, go to uh, frame uh, 250. Press G, then Y to move it on the Y axis. Left click to confirm. And then uh, press I to keyframe the new location. And then we go to the last frame, and then G, then Y to move it on the y-axis, and then I to keyframe the location once again. And as you can see, we uh, now have the uh, animation. And uh, that's it for uh, this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will post more Blender tutorials very soon. So uh, thank you guys for watching and subscribe.